Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to discuss the new Hallows and Rewards from 2024. I will also mention some older ones, but the main focus is the new Transmog set. Oh, and what mount am I riding? It's the Cardinal Masters Gear Glider, which drops from Solia, who is the last boss of the Tazavesh Market Dungeon. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So, of course I'm talking about the brand new set appearance, the Patched Harvester. You get the pieces from the Loot Field Pumpkin, which drops from the Hallows and Event Dungeon, the Headless Horseman. It's a bit strange, I don't know if it's a bug or not, but there is 100% drop chance, at least was for me, for a piece of this set to draw from the pumpkin. The set consists of 9 pieces, 7 of which drop from the pumpkins. You can get the transmog items from the pumpkins even on your lower level characters, but I bet that the level requirement is to be at least level 70. While farming for the pieces, you can also get the Headless Horseman's mount, Arthas, and a Velocidrake customization. Once you get your 7 pieces, the remaining 2 can be bought from a vendor in front of Stormwind or in front of the Undercity, right here. They have also added a cool new helmet with two styles and a shoulder transmog to go with it, which I'm definitely gonna buy, and you should too. And if you're not really into buying transmogs, you can still buy some toys or pets, which you can sell on the auction house. You might be asking, how do I get the tricky treats? Well, you get the tricky treats by doing the daily quests in front of Stormwind or Undercity and by doing your daily horseman kills. It might take you a while, but you can always do them on more alts, doubling the income and purchasing one thing on your main and the other on your alt. And that's it for the video. Quite a shorter one, but I wanted to notify you about the cool new stuff that came this Hallows End. And the random question of the day is, if you could have any animal as a pet, which one would you choose? Me personally, I would choose a polar bear, since it would protect me, and if I felt like cuddling, it could also serve that purpose. Thank you so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and make sure to intercept that subscribe button as well. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!